Hello, today's daily reading comes from the book of the Apocrypha. We are reading from the book of Jasher, chapter 41, and it reads as follows. And at the revolution of the year, the sons of Jacob journeyed from Shechem, and they came to Hebron, to their father Isaac, and they dwelt there. But their flocks and herds, they fled daily to Shechem, and Shechem, for there was there in those days goods and fat pasture, and Jacob and his sons and all their household dwelt in the valley of Hebron. And it was in those days, in that year, being the hundred and sixth year of the life of Jacob, and the tenth year of Jacob's coming from Pandan Aram, that Leah, the wife of Jacob, died. She was fifty-one years old when she died in Hebron. And Jacob and his sons buried her in the cave of the field of Machpelah, which is in Hebron, which Abraham had bought from the children of Heth, for the possession of a burial place. And the sons of Jacob dwelt with their father in the valley of Hebron, and all the inhabitants of the land knew their strength, and their fame went throughout the land. And Joseph, the son of Jacob, and the brother Benjamin, the sons of Rachel, the wife of Jacob, were yet young in those days, and did not go out with their brethren during their, their battles in all the cities of the Amorites. And when Joseph saw the strength of his brethren and their greatness, he praised them and extolled them. And he ranked himself greater than them, and extolled himself above them. And Jacob his father also loved him more than any of his sons, for he was a son of his old age. And though this his love toward him, he made him a coat of many colors. And when Joseph saw that his father loved him more than his brethren, he continued to exalt him above his brethren. And he brought unto the father evil reports concerning them. And the sons of Jacob, seeing the whole of Joseph's con conduct towards them, and that their father loved him more than any of them, they hated him, and could not speak peaceably to him all the days. And Joseph was seventeen years old, and he was still magnifying himself above his brethren, and thought of raising himself above them. At that time he dreamed a dream, and he came unto his brothers, and told them his dream, and he said unto them, I dreamed a dream, and behold, we were all binding sheaves in the field, and my sheaf rose and placed itself upon the ground, and your sheaves surrounded it and bowed down to it. And his brethren answered him and said unto him, What means this dream that you did dream? Did you, you imagine in your heart to reign or rule over us? And he still came, and he told a thing to the, his father Jacob. And Jacob kissed Joseph when he heard these words from his mouth, and Jacob blessed Joseph. And when the sons of Jacob saw that their father had blessed Joseph and had kissed him, and that he loved him exceedingly, they became jealous of him and hated him more. And after this, Joseph dreamed another dream and related the dream to his father in the presence of his brethren. And Joseph said unto his father and brethren, Behold, I have again dreamed a dream, and behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars bowed down to me. And his father heard the words of Joseph in his dream, and seeing that his brethren hated Joseph on account of this matter, Jacob therefore rebuked Joseph before his brethren on account of this thing, saying, what means this dream which you have dreamed, and this magnifying yourself before your brethren, who are older than you are? Do you imagine in your heart that I and your mother and your eleven brothers will come and bow down to you, that you speak these things? And his brethren were jealous of him on account of his <clears throat> words and dreams, and they continued to hate him. And Jacob reserved the dreams in his heart. And the sons of Jacob went one day to feed their father's flock in Shechem, for they were still herdsmen in those days and while the sons of jacob were that day feeding in shechem they delayed and the time of gathering and the cattle was passed and they had not arrived and jacob saw that his sons were delayed in shechem and jacob said within himself perhaps the people of shechem have risen up to fight against them therefore they have delayed coming this day and jacob called joseph his son and commanded him saying Behold, your brethren are feeding in Shechem this day, and behold, they have not yet come back. Go now, therefore, and see where they are, and bring me word back concerning the welfare of your brethren and the welfare of the flock. And Jacob sent his son Joseph to the valley of Hebron, and Joseph came to his brothers to Shechem and could not find them. And Joseph went about the field which was near Shechem to see where his brothers had turned, and he missed his road in the wilderness and knew not which way he should go. And an angel of the Lord found him wandering in the road toward the field. And Joseph said unto the angel of the Lord, I seek my brethren. Have you not heard where they are feeding? And the angel of the Lord said unto Joseph, I saw your brethren feeding here, and I heard them say they would go to feed in Dosan. 
And Joseph hearkened to the voice of the angel of the Lord, and he went to his brethren in Dasan, and he found them in Dasan feeding the flock. And Joseph advanced to his brethren, and before he had come nigh unto them, they had resolved to slay him. And Simeon said to his brethren, Behold, the man of dreams is coming unto us this day, and now therefore come and let us kill and kill him, and cast him in one of the pits that are in the wilderness. And when his father will seek him from us, we will say an evil beast has devoured him. And Reuben heard the words of his brethren concerning Joseph, and he said unto them, you should not do this thing, for how can we look up to our father Jacob? Cast him into this pit to die there, but stretch not out a hand upon him to spill his blood. And Reuben said this in order to deliver him from the, their hand, to bring him back to his father. And when Joseph came to his brethren, he sat before them, and they rose upon him and seized him and smote him to the earth and stripped the coat of many colors which he had on. And they took him and cast him into a pit, and the pit there was no water but serpents and scorpions. And Joseph was afraid of the serpents and scorpions that were in the pit. And Joseph cried out with a loud voice, and the Lord hid the serpents and scorpions in the sides of the pit, and they did no harm unto Joseph. And Joseph called out from the pit to his brethren, and said unto them, What have I done unto you, and, and what have I sinned? Why do you not fear the Lord concerning me? Am I not of your bones and flesh? And is not Jacob your father, my father? Why do you do this thing unto me this day? And how will you be able to look up to our father Jacob? And he continued to cry out and call unto his brethren from the pit. And he said, O Judah, Simeon, and Levi, my brethren, lift me up from the place of darkness in which you have placed me, and come this day to have compassion on me, you children of the Lord and sons of Jacob, my father. <clears throat> and if I have sinned unto you, are you not the sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? If they saw an orphan, they had compassion over him, or one that was hungry, they gave him bread or to eat, or to one that was thirsty, they gave him water to drink, or one that was naked, they covered him with garments. And now then will you withhold your pity from your brother, for I am of your flesh and bones, and if I have sinned unto you, surely you will do this on account of my father. And Joseph spoke these words from the pit, and his brethren could not listen to him nor incline their ears to hear the words of Joseph. And Joseph was crying and weeping in the pit. And Joseph said, Oh, that my father knew this day the act which my brothers have done unto me, and the words which they have this day spoken unto me. And all his brethren heard his cries and weeping in the pit. And then his brethren went and removed themselves from the pit, so that they may not hear the cries of Joseph and his weeping in the pit. Amen.